guys, it's me V and today I'm going to be checking out BTS's Dynamite. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> Now BTS has released Dynamite which has broken a few world records and I have to say congratulations to them because I'm sure it wasn't an easy battle. As of now I don't think there is a person who doesn't know who BTS is. Even people that are not into K-pop know of the group and I must say that they are on their way to conquering the world and I'd like to be a part and witness this phenomenon firsthand. So let's give Dynamite a listen. Just them chilling because they know that they're breaking world records. Cause I ain't a star tonight. So watch me bring the fire, set the night light. My shoes on, get up in the morning, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. Kink out, kick the drum, running on like a rolling stone. Sing song when I'm walking home, jump up to the top of the brown. Ding dong, call me on my phone, nice tea, and I'll get my ping pong. I like how smooth the transition from one guy to the other was. I can't believe they ended it with him just looking at the camera like that. It was especially for all the girls out there that go weak, that would go weak. Yeah, so that was me reacting to Dynamite and it's a pretty catchy song if I say so. As well as, I like the vibe of it. It felt like them just chilling, having fun, like in their own skin. It wasn't too serious and I think that's what the main charm of it was. I have one complaint though, the fact that this is only 
so popular because it is their first English song. Like, why? Like, I mean, their Korean music is just as good. I mean, when I reacted to Boy With Love as well as Black Swan, their music was amazing. And the fact that Dynamite is the one that's making them popular because it's their only English song or their first English song, I think it's unfair to them as a group. Why is everything about English? Like, why is it so important that it's an English song? It's just that I don't understand that. I mean, there's so many other different languages and cultures that make amazing music and they're not given the recognition that they deserve just because they are not in a certain language and that is so unfair. But it doesn't matter because they are finally getting the recognition that they deserve for all their efforts. I mean, I've seen posts on Instagram where people basically said, I don't know how true this is, but, be, but people basically said that when they initially debuted, they had... They couldn't get people to come to their concerts and now they have stadiums that are sold out in seconds and people can't wait to see them and waiting and are constantly waiting for their new music. So they've come a long way and they've worked hard for it so they definitely deserve all the praise and love that they're getting. The positives from it is they're basically paving the way for other K-pop groups because prior to this, I don't think there were much collaborations between K-pop artists and mainstream Hollywood celebrities. So they basically brought K-pop into the light and I've seen quite a few uh, collaborations recently. And I feel like BTS kind of helped with making K-pop popular. So even if you don't like BTS, you have to give them the credit for bringing K-pop into the light. Apart from giving K-pop attention, I feel like it's sparking interest in people. So maybe if they don't like BTS's music, it may intrigue them enough to go and look at other groups and fall in love with K-pop. So as a whole, BTS is doing a lot and I wish them all the best. Although I am just one person that doesn't matter, but Good wishes always help. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to share with a friend, maybe like and subscribe. And uh, from me V, peace.